How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and previously you saw me toss wheels onto the STI project and they looked really bad. It was because, at least in my opinion, and we'll answer that question today, because the ride height was dog shit. So I went ahead and ordered something. Right when I finished filming that video, I went ahead and ordered up some BC Racing coilovers. This is their DS series and I think this will fix the issue and hopefully the car won't look like shit. Now, this is not an install video. It's pretty easy to take out STI coilovers and stuff. Uh, I already did so just in preparation and the package just arrived. So we're gonna toss them in, set the preload, lower down the car, adjust the ride height, make sure it doesn't look like ass, and then hopefully go to a car meet. I don't know if we'll have time for all that today, but let's get started. So like I said, yeah, STI is all taken apart. I'm gonna open up this box real quick and uh, see what goodies lay inside, but all of the factory struts and shocks are off. So let's go. All right, so I went ahead and started opening it because my address was on the other side. So uh, inside though, there we go. Nice coilovers. I've never ran BC coilovers. A lot of my friends do. I hear they're good, but uh, I guess I'll be answering that question. Oh, here we go. This looks like the rear because it only has two bolts up top. So there's a rear. Um, this one is probably a front because it looks different. Yep, there's a front. I'm making a mess. HOA is going to kill me. Oh, and there's fucking dog shit right there. I'm not, I'm not picking those up. Those could stay. Came with some spanner wrenches, which we'll need. There's the other front. Come on, motherfucker. I really like the anodized, like, rose gold. It's pretty classy. And then the last one for the rear. I'm surprised they're not, like, vape smoke blue. Um, so that's, that's, that's nice right there. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly toss on the front. Shouldn't take that long. It didn't take that long to take them off. So I'll quickly toss them on and then uh, we'll lower down and adjust the height. And I'll, I'll just toss them all on. Let's just toss them all on. We'll do a quick montage. All right guys, it is the next day and what better way to test out some new wheels and tires on an STI than coming to the beautiful canyon. What a better way to do that. So, first things first, let me show you guys the wheels on the new ride height with the coilovers. It is perfection. ESR really knocked it out of the park with these wheels. And one thing I just want to say, because a lot of people are like, ugh, ESRs, Drew, come on, bro, stop sucking their dick. Okay, listen here. Let's remove branding for a second. Let's remove the name. Let's just, let's say all wheels don't have a name. Would you rather have the wheel that is lighter, the wheel that has a knurling inside, the wheel that is cheaper and comes with more customizable options, or the same old wheel that everyone else goes with? I'm personally gonna go with the best bang for your buck wheel, which is what I went with on these, which are the ESR AP6s. It's a timeless design. It's not a rep. It doesn't look exactly like a Gram Light or exactly like a TE. They did their own thing with it just because it's a six spoke doesn't mean that it's a direct replica of what's already out there. Best bang for your buck wheel out there and I plan on sending this car. And so even if I break them, I'd rather break something like this, which I don't think they will, but I'd rather break this than breaking a wheel that's gonna take a few months to replace. This thing, if I hit a pothole and I destroy it because I plan on sending the car, as you're about to see in a fucking minute, if, if these get damaged, it's not the end of the world. I really don't care. But anyways, let's go ahead, let's hop in the STI. I got the uh, 360 camera on the back. Let's send it through this canyon and let's see if there's a noticeable difference with better wheels and tires and coilovers. Talking about the fitment really quick though, because I haven't really, really talked about it. I didn't touch anything. This is straight out of the box already adjusted, already set for preload, just right out of the box. This is how they came. And personally, I think it's perfect. They will need to settle. So I predict they'll drop maybe another quarter of an inch just over the next week or so. So if it does, cool. But I think functionality right now, this is perfect. This is perfect in my eyes. 
and the wheels are like perfect that's like exactly how i wanted them it's it's beautiful i have no words all right so we drove like an hour on the way here so the tires should be broken in i didn't expect the canyon to be crowded on a random thursday afternoon i feel sorry for the sad suckers that have to drive through this shit every day i can only imagine if there's an accident um i'm gonna slow down and let these fucking shitty cars go ahead because i can't really give it the beans but uh, on the way here right out of the box just whatever they had it set to it felt smooth it didn't feel crazy like aggressive so so far so good but i i really want to see what this thing can do all right we let a few cars go So on that first stretch, I already noticed a significant increase in grip and just, you know, confidence. Like the car didn't feel like it was leaning all that much and I could stiffen up the the, the uh, dampeners. I could stiffen them up. They're only on at about 15, so they're about halfway stiff. I could totally go more, but uh, since we just drove it over here, I'm just straight out of the box sending it and these BC coilovers are fucking, they're, they're pretty nice, I don't know. I mean, it would have been interesting. I guess I already kind of did that on these stock coils to go through a canyon, but uh, I already did do that. And it was way more significant. You would hear your tires screeching because I feel like it's like, you're not getting full traction. It partially could, here, I'm gonna pull over. It partially could be because of the tires, but these coilovers also seem to just keep the car way more planted. And uh, it's just way more responsive, just right out of the box. Like it's crazy how, how much better it just already feels. Well, I guess while I'm waiting for all of the traffic to drive by, we can just take in this beautiful Los Angeles scenery. Like, take, take a look. This has to be one of the nicest looking canyons I've ever been to. I come here a lot. Uh, prob I probably should come here more, honestly, based on what kind of cars I'm starting to pick up now. But, uh, dude, like, out in the distance, you can see the city way out there, which is kind of cool. Then you just have these beautiful rolling hills. It's like Fortnite. I can't get over the look of this car enough. The tires turned a little bit, but how does this new car that I just get have the best fitment out of like all my cars? Uh, you know what, the McLaren fitment's pretty good, but this shit's like on point and <laughs> it didn't take much. See, now this is what I'm talking about. This shit looks nice. We're not even all the way up. Mammy, what do you think? <laughs> Stop it. I like this photo here. If you mean say like, if I, I like this back. I need to take this trip actually. We haven't had too much room to actually like push push the car. Like that one stretch that we did do was great. But watch, let me show you guys something really quick. Let me run over here. Hey, look, there's some lingerie right there. No, but that's not what I'm trying to show you. There's just so many fucking cars. One second. Just take a look at this fucking annoying ass day. Look at all these cars. Look at all of them. They're all just coming up all at once. There's a U-Haul truck. What the fuck are you hauling up here? Okay, there ain't shit around. Like, it's just super annoying. We, we keep getting stuck behind shit like that. And it's super annoying. Um, and there's just there's a thousand of them. So, we're gonna have to wait probably 15 minutes here for this fucking train to go. There's Mammy over there. Um, it's fucking bad. Uh, on a random Thursday, I did not expect it to be this packed. Like, I was like, it's Thursday. Who the fuck's gonna come up here? Is that a couch? There's a couch right there. At least I could chill here and relax for a bit, I guess, while this train goes by. 
Hey, Mammy, do you need some leggings or shit? I don't know what that would be called. It smells like dead animal again, dude. What's with all these dead animals around here? It smells so bad. Oh my God. All right, let's go. All right, so we just decided let's try going down. Everyone seems to be coming up. We're going to go down, which means we have the hill working in our favor, favor for speed. Um, so let's see. I don't know. Hopefully we don't come up on someone too hot around these corners. Sorry, that guy looked like he was passing, but on my lane, so I got really nervous. Alright, so that Karen politely moved out of our way. Let's continue. catch a break here we get like five seconds of freedom and then we come up on another fucking shitty ass car come on buddy you're breaking mid-corner you're in a fucking golf right <laughs> let's go let's go all right cool thank you adios that's why i don't like golfs they ruin everything visual alignment I could. Um, I might want to check the, the camera on each plate. Those cars are funny, man. Yeah, that's fine. Dude, this thing is fucking gnarly. Holy shit. Sorry, my fucking uh, ears are... I gotta pop them, but... Wow. Wow. Well, this guy let me go. Thank you. Alright, let's see if this guy does the same. I think we're, at, we're almost at the bottom. Let's go. Yeah, he's not gonna let me go. Come on, man. All right, <laughs> first impressions. That had to have been one of the most fun experiences in a Canyon I've ever had. The McLaren, I think still handles better, obviously, but this feels more confident inspiring. Like I'm not afraid to give this gas through corners because of the all wheel drive. Like I think the McLaren does handle better, but at the same time, I feel like you get to use a lot more of this car and uh, not have to worry about killing yourself or killing your bank account. Dude, this thing's a monster. I didn't hear my tires fight for traction like the whole time. Like I didn't hear Arr! the first time we went to the canyon when we first picked up the car the same day. It was screechy the whole time. This wheel and tire setup with the coils, elite. <laughs> like absolutely god tier. All right guys, so I didn't film an outro for this video and I didn't go to that car meet that I mentioned earlier, my bad. But really quickly, 
the BC Racing Coilovers really transformed the look and the handling of the vehicle. This isn't sponsored. I bought them with my own money. I can show you the receipt. No discount, no nothing. Didn't even hit them up. Don't feel like wasting my time. At the same time, though, I'm really pleased with what I got. That and the ESR wheels and the Falcon tires just really transformed this car. Honestly, it's, it's so much fun to drive. Like, I really just want to go back and drive it in the canyon right now. But it is 2 in the morning at the moment of recording this, so I can't. Anyways, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Please let me know down below what I should do next. I just want to do some light stuff to the car because I know the motor is a ticking time bomb if I start adding power. So, uh, yeah, let me know down below. I'm thinking some sway bars. I'm thinking some other stuff, uh, short shifter, some, some little stuff here and there. But let me know. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.